is a familiar face, the award-winning musician from Fellowship Chicago, Pastor Charles Jenkins. Welcome back. Thank you. Hey, Pastor. Although. Here we go. Here we go. What? what you're leaving. You know, um, I'm leaving the role. I'm not leaving the family. Okay. Yeah, and it'll be 21 years ago that I actually joined the fellowship team and right. pastoral leadership, and so, you know, God said it was time. Really? Mm. Well, why did God, when God tells you it's time, how does he do that, and why did he say now is the time? <laughs> well, uh, th there's an amazing passage in uh, Psalm 1 that basically says that our lives are framed in seasons. Ooh, Psalms and 1. Psalms 1, 3, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I think sometimes we can think that all of us are supposed to do the same thing in the same place for our entire lives. Mm -hmm. And so for me, this was the, the end of a season. I, I, when Reverend Clay Evans, the icon, right. named me the new guy, I was 21. Yeah, oh, that's hard to believe. Right, and now you're 23. The math is really off. Thank there. you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How long did you ponder this, or was it was it a direct message from God, and you said, "This is it"? And and what are you going to do next? You know, um, I, and as a person of faith, I believe God speaks to us through thoughts, ideas, situations, people. Primarily, His Word. He put the thought on my mind mm -hmm. as I've kind of been working it through for about two years. Okay. Um, having uh, conversations with wise counsel. Yeah. Uh, lots of prayer. My wife. Right. I spent lots of time with Reverend Evans. And I think like anybody, you know, my mother and my grandmother, when they cooked, they didn't have a recipe. You okay. know, they, they were kind of, you know, guided by mm -hmm. their heart and their taste. Wow. And so you, you get the feeling and the sense as for me, I, I, you don't want to understay where you are and you don't want to overstay. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and so... So um, when is this happening? The end of 2019. Okay. It is my so last the end of year. this year. So you still got some time to do some work, oh, and you're doing working. that we with the you. Yeah. We're working. And Val needs a lot of work after that last segment, <laughs> as you saw. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah. But I do want to know how to hear from him. <laughs> we, we, we can work it all through. We can work it all through. You know, there, there are tons of amazing things happening. Everybody's asking me what I'm doing next. I have no idea. Hmm. No idea? Yeah. More well, music, though. Well, yeah, for sure. You and, and, and again, as I've said it, I'm leaving this particular role. Right. I'm not leaving the family. Fellowship is the greatest. Right. I'm with Fellowship. You're not Reverend. leaving Chicago, are you? No. Okay. But Chicago's always home. Okay. Mm -hmm. This city's been amazing to me. Right. And right. and I've been fortunate to be a part of a lot of amazing things in the city, uh, helping to bring Walmart to the city, working yeah. with Alderman Howard Brookins, 13 Walmarts in mm -hmm. the city, mm -hmm. thousands of jobs, Shervin P. Navarre, um, who is an amazing businessman helping to bring his rideshare program, a massive company where lots right. of people are driving and right. those jobs and tons of other stuff. Right. I was able to help to get 22 million into the budget for seniors and low income families to be able to afford their medicine mm -hmm. back when Walgreens were closing and standalone right. pharmacies and so tons of really fun stuff. So you Chicago's always home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of great city contributions you've made and you have a youth weekend that you're working on. You know, so um, we do a massive Youth Weekend. We serve between 1,000, 1,500 kids. Um, it's personal development, uh, personal empowerment, it's education, it's recreation. And so working on that, uh, working on a, a music program. Uh, I, I want to do a music camp. And uh, we're, we're looking at spending some time with Grammy Chicago. Oh. I'm working with an amazing group of musicians, some rock star guys in L.A., 1500 or nothing. Uh -huh. uh, they did Bruno Mars' last album. Okay. They worked did with they the do Carter. that Please Me song? I can't get in the okay. all. Listen, let me ask you this. They did. Quick, what? They did. They did do Please did. Me. The That's hot Bruno right now. Cardi I know. Beat. That's yeah. really hot. So, so I want to bring them to Chicago to be a part of the music camp to teach kids some stuff that, where they can earn a living. You're also working with Rare, Mayor Rahm Emanuel. You know, across his tenure, I've been privileged to work with him in a number of mm -hmm. different ways, whether it was with the city colleges, championing contracts in particularly African-American communities to create jobs in underserved and under-resourced neighborhoods and mm -hmm. other concepts around fighting violence. And so uh, it's ironic that, that yeah, y'all both leave. Leaving. That's what I heard. Wow. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> Pastor, you're always welcome back on our show. I appreciate Great it so much. You. Love you all so much. All right. And you've gotten to the end of the year to catch Pastor Charles Jenkins at Fellowship Chicago. So get to church. You need to go to church. Oh, I, you need to go. <laughs> <after that last laughs>